What up, man? It's MC Chill. I'm delivering the pancakes right now. I just wanted to talk a little bit more about 432 hertz frequency versus 440 hertz frequency. Now, this isn't everything about it, but I'm just encouraging you guys again to uh, do your own research and learn more about this. However, um, something I came to realize is that the particle patterning in 432 hertz is much more symmetrical compared to 440 and this can be studied with it being uh, projected onto sand and they've done this with other things as well so that you can see the harmonic of a frequency and how it would affect you know the patterns of particles around it and this has been done with sand as well as water and if you guys come to realize that um, we're, our bodies are 70% or more water naturally uh, long term exposure to music that is tuned at 440 hertz which is most you know pop culture music at this time uh, that has changed you know after uh, things got industrialized you know in the pre-industrialized era I think everything was tuned at 432 hertz and that's why everything was more in a in a frequency with nature just like how I speak about these patterns so because the patterning in 432 Hertz is more symmetrical than in 440 Hertz this would cause a more harmonious and more balanced lifestyle so if uh, if we come to think about this crazy GCR on the left if we come to think about this uh, our bodies are like plants in a way so um, plants may be able to benefit from this as well as it's been said that classical music helps plants grow compared to you know if you were to play just heavy metal and uh, expect the plant to grow the same way it would be different and uh, 400 I'm not confirming this but I bet you 432 Hertz frequency music probably will help plants grow better than harmonics tuned at 440 and because the symmetry changes once um, it's tuned at 432 Hertz this would also tune your DNA because your DNA gets exposed to the sounds and frequencies that you absorb or um, what it takes in is what changes the structure of your DNA so your DNA may become more symmetrical by listening to more symmetrical frequencies you see what I'm saying and uh, yeah that's pretty much all I had to say about this video oh wait I had another thing to say uh, most of these pop culture songs, you know, and as it's been changed, uh, artists who have been exposed to MK Ultra are aware about this and how they're affecting their fans, you know. And I'm talking about more popular artists like maybe, you know, modern day rappers these days or pop artists or these Illuminati uh, associates, you know. Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, all these uh, radio music pop stars, they're aware that their music is tuned at a different frequency that causes disharmonious patterns to the human biology. And this is affecting us, you know, even at a DNA level. But yeah, man, that's all I had to say about this video. You guys can do your own research as to learning about frequencies and what type of music you can listen to to change the structure of your DNA and potentially cause a positive change in your life. But that's all I had to say for this video. This is MC Chill. Y'all stay safe, focused, and balanced. 777. Peace out.